Someone asked me if I could make Mandalorian gauntlets, and I was like, yeah. So I made gauntlets before, and originally I tried taking a pattern directly off the subject's arm, but for whatever reason that yielded a perfect replica of the subject's arm. So for future armor builds, I'm using a duct tape dummy, which yields a pattern that comes out clothing dimensions. Oh, by the way, I added $4 worth of pipe fittings to make a stand that actually works. Better than the plank with holes drilled in it and paint cans that I was using. I transferred that to cardboard and then to EVA foam. Craft foam is conveniently gauntlet size, but Cosplay Apprentice sent me an enormous amount of foam. So I'm going to use this opportunity to test out the four millimeter stuff. This is my one, two, three sharpening stone. I don't get one, two, three blocks. I don't. I'm not saying everyone's wrong for using them. Clearly there must be a use. It's just, it's a paperweight, right? Can someone explain it to me? Like, but this is a cosplay apprentice's blade and I have not had to change it yet. Although, yeah, I sharpen my blades, so... I'm just saying, he doesn't make an inferior product. It's at least as good as what's out there. So I cut that out, sanded the edges, and heat formed it. What I'm noticing about Cosplay Apprentice's foam is that it's just as easy to cut, maybe easier to cut, because it's a bit stiffer, and sometimes the flexibility acts almost like drag on the blade. So it's much more durable and a little bit easier to cut, but it takes longer to heat form, which isn't necessarily a downside, because we're talking about, like, what would it take in 40 seconds now takes a minute and a half, so you know, it's not like it's actually a downside. My tendency is to make armor curved, but generally Mandalorian gauntlets are more blocky so that the flat surface can act as a weapon's mounting point. So I cut up some foam in hard edge shapes for exactly that purpose. I glued them all together with contact cement. God, I'm so terrible at staying in frame. All right, that'll go on top of the thing. Okay, now that was just to tell me where to put glue. I covered the openings with thin craft foam. I know I said you should be wearing gloves while doing this, and you should, but for some reason, all the local stores are out of uh, gloves. So it seems like that might not be necessary, but here, this garbage, yeah, gonna have to fix that. So Quick Seal takes 24 hours to dry, and I want this project to be done as quickly as possible. So I did end up making seam hiding bands for both gauntlets, even the one with good seam just for symmetry. I cover the gauntlets in Greeblies from old toys and model kits to represent the many futuristic weapons. I'm seeing a lot of variation in other characters from the shows and cosplayers, and I really like that because it means you can mix and match. You really make it your own. This is in many ways my favorite part of the build. I also diesel punk my phone. That's a side build off of the side build, side build -ception. Oh my god, focus Jake. You got droids to make. And helmets. And always lightsabers. I used super thin PVC for the extra blaster barrels. If they have holsters, why do they need, eh, don't ask questions. I think those are from a Nerf gun. I made a missile out of a toothpaste cap, radio dial, candlestick, quick seal cap, and a foam dowel. I cut a notch in it to fit over the box. I cut holes for the various switches and knobs, but didn't attach them just yet. I used my rotary tool to clean up some of the rough edges and uneven even dried putty, then I plastic dipped the gauntlets. I chose to remove some of the greeblies for this process because they didn't need it. You know, if they're already metal or hard plastic, they really don't need this. This is just that the foam is gonna take a paint job. After they dried, I painted them a base coat of silver. I'm gonna hold off on the top coat and weathering for now because I've got a whole suit to do. And again, side build. Other irons in the fire. I'm getting distracted. I'm, you know, my audience knows all of the other things I should be working on. Oh, hey, but the idea is to build another, and I'm adding another thing. I'm adding another project. What are you doing, Jake? But yeah, since I've done the gauntlets, I have to do a whole suit. So hey, what color should it be? Let me know in comments below. These videos are brought to you by my patrons. They're gonna be scrolling by while I talk about some of the tech stuff. Automotive spray paint takes about a week to dry. These have only had two days, so I really shouldn't be wearing them. Also, they're made for somebody smaller than me, so I can't even demonstrate the thing that I want to demonstrate without some cardboard. It's been my experience that when you put a lot of weight on one side of tubular shaped armor, you're gonna have this happen. And that's really gonna ruin a dramatic scene or a dramatic photo shoot if you're all like, for Mandalore! So you can fix that either with snaps, you know, putting one end on the gauntlet and the other side on your clothing. But for my purposes, since I made this out of foam, I can get away with Velcro. This was supposed to be the end of the video, but I, I'm, I'm shooting this during the coronavirus outbreak, which I didn't think was gonna be a big deal. But as a prop maker and general film jack of all trades, coach for PA, all of my work is in the gig economy and all of my gigs have been canceled. So if any of you feel like joining some of the awesome people on that list, now would be the time to do it. I mean, I get it and I should probably 
be under quarantine myself because I have so many pre-existing conditions. I think probably only two that apply. So I don't know, maybe I'll do like a shop update, quarantine log sort of thing. That body form that I built in the previous video, all of that client's convention appearances have also been postponed, so the orders she was gonna place have been postponed. So I think I'm just gonna build a suit of armor until all this blows over. Yeah, that that's uh, that's how I'm gonna spend the quarantine. Or making more DRDs to sell. Gonna have to sell one of you. Yeah, so I'll do like a bunch of shop updates during this whole thing. You can watch a prop maker slowly go insane. Kidding, we, we've been watching that for 10 years. Thanks for watching, see you later.